Hello and welcome to this first video for Math 379 Combinatorics at McAllister College. I am Andrew Beveridge, a professor in the Mathematics, Statistics, and Computer Science Department, and this is an upper-level course on enumerative combinatorics. The goal of this video is to give you a very quick overview of combinatorics and to give you a taste of the kinds of problems and techniques that we will explore in the course. Without realizing it, you have been solving combinatorial problems all of your life. Have you played tic-tac-toe? Have you tried to understand the relative ranking of poker hands? Have you tried to find an optimal class schedule? These are all combinatorial problems. And here's my plain language definition of combinatorics. It is the study of arranging objects according to specified rules. Patterns, designs, and configurations are all real-world examples of such arrangements. Combinatorics has been a part of mathematics from the outset. However, only in the last century and the last 50 years in particular, has combinatorics established itself as an independent branch of mathematics. Prior to that, the deep theory underlying the subject had not been explored or developed, but that has all changed with the rise of the information age. Mathematicians are inspired by the times that they live in, and combinatorics is the mathematical framework at the foundation of computing, information, and networks. So it is a modern pillar of mathematics. The 2021 Abel Prize, a mathematical equivalent of the Nobel Prize, offered a clear signal of the importance of combinatorics. It was awarded to Laszlo Lovas and Avi Wigderson for their foundational work in shaping combinatorics into central fields of modern mathematics. There are essentially four kinds of combinatorial questions. First, does there exist a configuration satisfying certain conditions? If so, then how many ways can we create such an arrangement? This is called enumeration and that is the main topic of this course. We have analysis. What are the properties of a collection of objects? How can we classify them or relate them to known objects? Finally, we have optimization. Given a collection of objects, how do we find the best one according to some criteria, such as the longest one or the shortest one or the biggest or the smallest? This course focuses on enumerative combinatorics. How many ways are there to create some desired configuration or pattern? Our goal is to develop basic and advanced counting methods and to apply them to interesting mathematical families. These families include sets, functions, permutations, and graphs. We'll also develop your skills as a mathematician. How do you explore a mathematical landscape? How do you ask good questions? How do you navigate your way to an answer? How do you communicate your insights? And most importantly, how do you collaborate productively and professionally with others? And that brings us to the end of this high-level introduction to enumerative combinatorics. I've also made two spotlight videos as part of this introduction. Each of those videos takes you through a concrete example of the kinds of problems that we will investigate this semester and gives you a preview of some of the techniques that we will learn together.